Hello and welcome back to Newsroom Nigeria. Hmm. In this life that we are in, just make sure you are good. Make sure you do good. Because whatever you do will come back to haunt you. Whether it is good though, whether it is bad though, just whatever you do, you are going to reap in the future. You might not be seeing, you might not be seeing it now. You might not be seeing the repercussion now. But surely and surely I, I see unto you. You shall reap whatever you sow. There is no way a farmer plants corn and go to harvest yam or go to harvest onions. Whatever you do as a person in politics, just remember that, you know, the future is there and karma is very real. Before we go into the details of today's news, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please make sure you subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell so that you can be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Help us grow this channel by giving this video a massive thumbs up so that it gets recommended to other YouTube viewers all around the world as well. Lastly, please leave your opinions in the comment section below. Without further ado, let's delve right into the details of today's news. Governor Yabelo weeps like a baby as court declares Natasha Akpoti duly elected senator in a dramatic turn of events at the presidential tribunal in abuja on wednesday being 6th september 2023 governor yahaya Bello was seen weeping openly at the courts as the court declared barrister natasha apoti undegan of the people's democratic party pdp the duly elected senator of Kogi Central Senatorial Election. <laughs> this is how you know that he has not done well for you to have to have ruled the state for eight years and then you contest for another position, a, a mere senatorial position or senatorial seat and is unable to win that. That is how you can tell that he has not done well. I remember during the election how this man, he was... It was it was the governor then, you know how he antagonized how he antagonized the uh, uh, this woman. He antagonized this woman. He, he crucified this go this woman. I could remember. I think the midnight just before the election day, this man went to went to dig hole on the road on the way to this woman's village just so that people are unable to get to their destination to vote he said his explanation was he wants to construct the road but how do you start constructing road road that you that you've not thought of you know repairing you've not thought of constructing for eight years then you now remember that you that road needed repair just just like two days or a day to the election day and with everything he did, with everything he did, the more he crucified this woman, the more determined people were, you know, to vote this woman in. And that was what they did. Let's continue. Governor Yahaya Bello, visibly angry at the judgment, was captured on camera, shedding tears and muttering incomprehensible phrases while attempting to cover his eyes with an handkerchief. Sources close to Governor Yahaya Bello, who requested anonymity, revealed that he immediately called the affected senator, O'Hare, to appeal against the judgment, expressing his dissatisfaction with the outcome. The Kogi State Election Petition Tribunal 
which convened in Lokoja, Kogi State, delivered this ruling. The panel of judges led by Justice K.A. Ojiako determined that Natasha Akoti Uduagan has proven beyond reasonable doubt the existence of malpractices and irregularities during the senatorial election. According to the tribunal's findings, Barrister Natasha of the PDP secured 54,354 lawful votes while O'Hare of the All Progressive Congress, APC, received 51,291 votes. Consequently, the tribunal nullified O'Hare's election from the APC and declared Natasha Akoti Uduagan of the PDP as the duly elected senator of Kogi Central Senatorial District with a margin of 3,063 votes because you want some uh, you you want your boy you know to 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 win the election must you now rig it must you rig the election because you are the governor you want your own person there so must you rig the election must you instead of allowing the election to run its course allowing the old allowing the process to just be you decide to influence it now you are crying in court we help hmm. Let's continue. The tribunal further characterized the act of votes deducted deduction as a grave offense and ordered the APC or Harry to pay a fine of 500000 to Natasha Poti Uduagan of the PDP. This ruling has sent shockwaves through the political landscape, leaving Governor Yahaya Bello in a state of deep bitterness the aftermath of this decision is likely to reverberate in the coming days impacting the political dynamics of kogi states you all thank you very much for always listening and watching what do you all think about this before we go let's take a look at one or two reactions we got online anthony victor nelson says God punished the idiot, so-called Yahaya Bilu, the useless Islamic terrorist man. They will never know peace, useless religious terrorist people. Another person by the name Reverend Faith says, The evil that man do lives with them. I cannot forget the cruel killing of a Kogi PDP woman leader that was burnt alive in her house during elections by Governor Yahaya Bilo Thugs. Lastly, Kaura says, what connects your story with the photo you arrowed was presidential election petitions court handling Kogi senatorial petitions. Both of these uh, petitions judgment happened yesterday, Wednesday in Abuja. So it might look like it was, you know, in the presidential election petition, but it wasn't. You all, thank you very much for always listening and watching. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Share this video with your friends and family. I will see you all in my next video. Bye for now.